I'm still looking to end the EVA by 1700, so we'll make sure that we're keeping track of time on the way out and we'll you know, expedite our return if we need to to hit that 1700 mark. So this week we're playing host to NASA. We're out here in Yucca Flat, standing next to Ice Cap Tower. The last time NASA was out here was 50 years ago when they were training Apollo astronauts back in 1972. Now we're training Artemis astronauts. So NASA's out here testing out their suits and preparing to bring out astronauts in upcoming missions. There's a road in between, which is this one. The end of 2019, early 2020, a group of NASA scientists came out to the site to just kind of tour around and see what it was like, because we have a long-standing history with NASA as they came out to the site and trained their Apollo astronauts in the 60s and 70s. And so they wanted to come back out and see what it was like out here, see if it was a potential area to come out and test and train their astronauts for the Artemis program. So this is our jet test number four, so a joint EVA testing team out here doing testing at the site. Um, and so it's a group from NASA, the engineers and operations folks and scientists uh, doing a test to simulate some of our hardware requirements for Artemis. In those suits, I'm not sure exactly how much they weigh, but it takes them a while to get into them. You know, it's 20 minutes for them just to get it in, get in, get the astronaut, get the subject in there, and get it properly adjusted. It's designed to mimic the limited range of motion that astronauts have, so they can't just bend over at the hip and pick up a rock on the lunar surface. You know, you can kind of picture the way the Apollo guys moved. It was pretty clunky. They kind of had the, the hopping motion, you know? And so that's what these suits are designed to do, is mimic, it, mimic the limited range of motion primarily. So it's interesting to see NASA bring out their suits and their carts and their equipment and try and make it work out here. And it's a little bit harder than I think they were planning on being. We're testing tools and suit mock-up system for um, sort of early Artemis missions. Great float in bag number 3574. So, you know, going through all the hardware and operational components of that um, EVA so that we can learn out here in the field with the craters that are out here, the unique craters that the Madden National Test Site has, and uh, be able to learn about that for the, the future lunar missions. But we will want to head out of here as scheduled because we got a lot to do in the field. So we're doing different tests, um, different configurations of that hardware that I talked about, of the suits and the tools. Um, we're doing some tests out here at the ice cap so that we're using this large tower as our mock-up for HLS landing system, or specifically the Starship uh, of SpaceX. And so we're using ice cap as that stand-in. We'll also be doing some night testing which allows us to simulate low angle lighting like we expect on the lunar south pole. And the challenges that that brings with suit lighting and, and, and workstation lighting and, and those types of things for navigation. In the linear future, you'll be picking up some uh, rim rocks and regolith. That we uh, are trying to figure out how best to accommodate you know, crew and training for that, that challenge that we have on the south pole of the moon. and then we plan to go up to Schooner, do some testing up there, um, because that's a fantastic uh, crater in basaltic terrain and some imp you know, secondary impacts and things like that that we really find interesting on the science side. It's a long time coming. Nick and I have been working hard. I've been working in my garage. I've been working late hours just to bring NASA out and really develop something that is really big and important, not just for MST, it's not just for the site, but for the country, for our community in Las Vegas, everybody. And so to see them out here with their mock spacesuits, doing traverses around the craters, something that we've been working on for years now, it's pretty fantastic. We're a couple years out from you know the Artemis mission, so we've been testing probably for the past two years, getting ready as a, a focus team, a jet team. Uh, we test in other locations, um, but this being one of the ones that are high priority for us to, to test at um, going forward. And so we're a couple years out and a couple years under our belt, so it's, it's really exciting time to see it mature from where we're at and also think about the future.
Yeah, this is kind of a fact-finding and a path-finding mission for them and for us. So um, we've got some pretty grand aspirations for what we want to turn this into. You know, it's not just NASA anymore developing the rovers and the suits. They've got a whole constellation of commercial, academic, and lab partners that are developing the hardware and the software. And so for us, it's a great opportunity not only to host NASA, but to start to talk to some of their partners about coming out here as well and training in these same craters. It's incredible. I mean, I never thought I would be able to help out with NASA out here. To be able to be a scientist and a geologist out here and kind of work on anything that I can think of, write proposals, get funding, and just grow a program, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's taken a lot of people working together to get this exercise off the ground. And so I think Brian Eligram, my partner on this program, and I would first say thank you to everybody who's helped execute this program. And then we'd also say that we need more help to turn this into what we want it to be, which is basically a full-scale lunar Martian base at the NNSS where people can come out, test, and train their people. So we need your help. And if you're interested in helping, reach out to Brian, Brian Eligram, or myself, Nick Downs. Quick shout out to the team and the Nevada team that's supporting us out here. So. Um, we fell in seamlessly and it's been a great relationship ever since we reached out a few years ago um, through this partnership and we look forward to the future out here.